everybody. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Travis Howell. I'm the marketing manager for our family of companies, which we will talk about here in just a minute. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure if Cody and Alex are actually on with us at the moment, but we'll just go ahead and do some quick introductions. Daniel, if you want to introduce yourself. Absolutely. Uh, I'm Daniel Harrison. I work directly for Medico as a regional uh, sales specialist for Medico. Uh, I'm based out of Houston, Texas, and I cover the central and southeast regions. I um, previously worked with Los Aboy DSS before this, uh, representing Medico, and way back I was a locksmith and a family-owned uh, Medico Security Center in Nashville, Tennessee, so uh, from the industry uh, most of my life. Great. Uh, Cody, if you're on, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Sure. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Cody Dorsett. I'm an aftermarket business development rep with Asa Abloy here in Houston area. I'm a, there's multiple guys on our team who carry this position in what we call A28, which is South Texas and Southern Louisiana. Um, you will have someone in my position in your respective area on the Locksmith channel and supports um, our security professional partners. So thank you, HL Flake, for allowing uh, Medico to present today and Daniel for taking the time to do so. Thanks, guys. Great. And Alex, if you're on, do you want to do an introduction? I think Alex is going to help us with part of the Q&A today. Um, uh, sounds like he's not on at the moment, but Alex Martinez is our sales manager for HL Flake. And, um, you know, he, so if you have any questions regarding sales, you can reach out to your sales rep. Um, but, or you can also reach out to Alex Martinez. So I'm gonna start by doing a introduction on our family of companies, which many of you, if you've been on several of these, um, several of the webinars, you've, you've seen this many times, but I'm still gonna go through it each time. Just to, um, as we've grown and um, merged multiple companies together, I just wanna be clear who we are, where we're located, and kind of what our plan is uh, going forward. So we are now uh, four companies that have come together, HL Flake Security Hardware, International Key Supply, McDonald Dash, and HE Mitchell Companies. And as of today, we have five locations. Um, and really what we're working towards is bringing all of these companies and all of these locations onto one accounting system to where you, the customer, have visibility to all of the inventory in all of these locations. Um, and we're really striving to get as close to as many of our customers as possible, uh, you know, to try to serve you faster, to try to get more of our customers into a one and two day zone. And so as of today, all of these locations are on the same accounting system, except for the Farmingdale, New York location, which is uh, international key supply. Uh, you know, we're planning on doing that a little bit later this year. Um, and with that, where International Key Supply has primarily been uh, an automotive supplier, we will be bringing a lot more commercial uh, and access control hardware to that Northeast area in the warehouse in Farmingdale. So, and again, you'll, you know, going forward, you would have visibility to that from any of our websites, whether that's International Key Supply or the HL Flake site. So, um, you know, really, uh, one of the main strengths that we as a company have is the breadth of our inventory. Um, and we're really focused on the security professional, you know, and for the locksmith. Uh, that's when we think about inventory or we think about the products that we're going to stock, we're thinking about, uh, we have our locksmith customer in mind. So that ranges anywhere from, you know, all, all of the automotive equipment and keys, access control, commercial and residential hardware, um, really one of the largest inventories of padlocks that you'll find in the nation um, and then safes tools and, and all types of uh, locksmith tools and key machines so really one of our our strong suits is is our selection so just the value that we you know bring as a combined company it really is that selection it's the 45,000 SKUs that are actually in stock on the shelf and ready to ship today um, and it's the speed. So knowing that if you order today, it's going to ship today. Uh, and, and reliability in the fact that 
if you see that we have it, um, we're going to fill that order uh, and, and you'll know that that item is actually on its way to you. And then of course we try to be competitively priced to the market. We uh, try to keep an eye on what's going out, out there in the market uh, so we can be competitive. And then lastly, across all of the companies, we now have a combined free freight policy with a really low $100 order minimum. Uh, and we've just tried to make it easy for everybody. So even if the order is less than $100, there's just there's a flat $9.95 uh, shipping rate. So uh, really just trying to make it easy to do business with us, um, easy to know what the costs are gonna be for, for shipping and et cetera. Uh, and so lastly, today we do have a drawing that will happen at the end. Uh, we're giving away a $250 Lowe's gift card. So hang on till the end and we'll do, we'll do the spin wheel to draw the name. And so with that, I am going to hand it over to Daniel uh, and we'll do the Medico uh, presentation. But thank you everybody. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you to HL Flake for, for having me. I'm trying to pull my screen up right quick, but yeah, thank you for having us on here. We really appreciate this opportunity and thank you to all of you who are, are joining remotely to, uh, to see what we have today. Everybody see my screen now? Uh, yes. Get this going. All right. So again, there's my contact information. My name is Daniel Harrison. Uh, I, I am the Medico uh, Specialist again out of Houston. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Medico Key Systems, you know, technology overview, really, uh, both mechanical and, and the electronic uh, keys that we sell. Uh, we're going to highlight those technologies and uh, just to show you what we're doing and show you kind of what the future might look like. So hello from Roanoke, Virginia. For those of you that don't know, uh, Medico is just outside of, of Roanoke, Virginia and Salem, uh, a little town out there. Been there for over 50 years, since 1968. And again, uh, we were purchased by Asa Abloy uh, in 1999. That's when we became a part of that, that bigger group. And we are very proud to say that our products are manufactured and delivered to you from, from that facility here made in the USA. To take that a step further, especially given the, the climate right now and the environment, we're very happy to be able to say we're still 100% operational. So uh, thank you to you as the customers and to partners like HL Flake. Uh, we wouldn't be able to uh, we wouldn't be able to say that without you. So uh, thank you for the continued business and, and loyalty. Here's a look at what we're going to be getting into today. So uh, other than just going over the technologies and the different key systems, we just want to talk about you know what you talk to your customers about and what they should be thinking about when they are choosing a new key system. We're going to look at medical mechanical key system technologies and available programs that uh, let us get that out to you in the field and, and through HL Flake. We're going to talk about some tools and professional services. Uh, that's become a big part of our business at Medico. So I'm going to show you what, what, what that kind of looks like and, and how we utilize that. But uh, we want to give the customers a tool to, to properly manage their key system uh, for the life of that. We don't want to just give them a key system and walk away and, and say good luck. Um, after that, we're going to go into the, the future of key systems. That's when we're going to get into the intelligent keys, uh, talking about uh, the two different uh, flavors or, or technologies that we have in intelligent keys, the Medico Click and the Medico XT. Then we're going to give you some available resources. So I'll just show you on the, on the screen here, and then we'll, we'll be sending those out uh, via email. And uh, the resources that we send you and the collateral is also available in hard copies. So uh, you can get with your local rep uh, to, to get some of that to take to your customers and, and assist in those conversations. And lastly, we're gonna show a, a little uh, X4 promo that we're doing, uh, trying to get some more X4 dealers signed up. Uh, and I think you'll like what you see there and uh, hopefully we can help get some of you on board with this. So jumping in, so how, how to choose a new key system? You know, what, are you, what are you gonna be thinking about? You know, we look at, get these up. We look at really four uh, key components that the, the end users should be should be really thinking about. First and foremost, uh, you want to look for a strong utility patent. Uh, you guys are all aware of patented key systems and things like that. You definitely want to check that box. You want to uh, know that the manufacturer controls the production and distribution of those keys, and you know we're able to track that, and it prevents from unwanted uh, key duplication. Next, over on the right. 
uh, the retrofit capabilities. Uh, whenever you're talking about a key system and going into these facilities that have you know, a mixed match of, of manufacturer's hardware and keyways, you want to be able to just pull out their existing cylinder and slide in a new cylinder without having to replace a bunch of hardware, because obviously that adds a lot of cost. Master key capacity, uh, you, obviously you guys are dealing with a lot of larger end users and, and complex systems. Uh, you, you want a key system that's going to last not just for the first year or two, but beyond. So we want to look at something that can really plan for the future and, and be expanded uh, and handle those, those re-keys and things like that as they come up. And lastly, again, we're going to talk about some important management tools uh, that we can we can offer uh, to complement these key systems. Again, we don't want to just uh, sell them this new great patented key system and walk away. Uh, we want to we want to help them and, and help guide them uh, through that as the life of the key system goes on. And before we get into the technology, I'm going to show you these programs. Uh, you're probably familiar with a lot of these, if not all of these, but just letting you know how we how we get these. Uh, to the market. Uh, first and foremost, dealer restricted keyways. Uh, that is a keyway that's obviously assigned to you as the locksmith or the dealer partner. And that allows you to be able to stock those keys and cylinders so you can quickly get those to your customers. And those customers that you do sell it to, they, they come back to you uh, from then on to, to get that product. Next on the right, we're talking about end user uh, key systems. So these are for you know those larger uh, end users that they want to have full control of their system and they want to they want to manage it themselves. So we really look for a minimum of 250 cylinders to be eligible for an end user keyway, but that keyway is specific to them at that point. They sign an end user agreement directly with Medico. However, uh, we never take orders directly from end users. So that's making that clear. We, we had the agreement with Medico, but uh, all orders still go through you guys. And that just allows them to be in control of who they authorize to order their product on their, on, on their behalf. And ultimately, the end user owns that key system and all the biddings. We don't hold any bid, any biddings or, or combinations hostage. We, we turn that over to them at that point. So they're fully in control of their system. Next, we have the distributor based or do not duplicate programs. Uh, this is uh, through HL Flake. They, they have that, that keyway available. It's a carded program. And the, uh, the codes from the cards are imprinted onto a key voucher, which is then sent to HL Flake. And they have stock on their shelves to to cut more key blanks and, and issue more locks and cylinders for, for that system. That's a picture of what that card looks like. And then we have other carded programs that have been in place for years. Uh, the keying info is embossed on the card, which is then of course given to the customer. That is, allows them in case they move or whatever, that they can go to any participating Medico dealer uh, nationwide to, to get copies of their keys. And there's a few examples of ones you've probably heard about. Uh, Freedom and Gotham are with the Medico M3 currently. Then uh, legacy systems like Patriot, uh, Liberty, and Sky, we still see a lot of out there in the market. So now we've seen what we're what we're looking for in a key system, and the programs in place to, to get them out there. You know, how can we really help from Medico? And this is getting into how we, we think we can. So we're going to start with the Medico X4 technology. Talking about that. The first box we had on the previous slide was about the utility patent. You know, we've got a very strong uh, industry leading utility patent here uh, through 2030. So, you know, we, we've checked that box for you with, with the Keymark X4. And really, and, oh, I saw there was a lot of experience that uh, people were posting, a lot, a lot of years of experience. So a lot of you might be familiar with the term Keymark. Uh, it was originally Keymark uh, was designed to uh, do the small format interchangeable core. That was the whole premise of it. And, but from there, once we did that, and it's grown into Medical X4, we're, like, we're not just gonna do that. We wanna, we wanna add a large format. We wanna add the traditional key and knob, mortise, room, uh, padlocks, cam locks. Uh, you can even put an HID credential on the head of these keys if you wanted to. Again, everything you see here can be put onto to one key. Uh, that's that retrofit capability that, we're, that we were talking about earlier. So. You can feel 100% certain if you walk into a facility or multiple facilities that have, you know come combined together, you can take all of their their locks and put them on on this one key Medical X4. Next, we we're talking about the master key possibility. So you know, industry standard is the the A2. You all know that very well. Uh, with the conventional A2, you get a little over 16,000 combinations, and this is really where and that was what. Keymark was originally on as well. You know, that's that's industry wide. So, the way that Medico X4 really got its name, using uh, different slider positions, we were able to multiply that by four. So, 
you 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 look at sixty five plus thousand combinations. I mean, you can you can go into the biggest end users that you can think of, and you can you can put them on one system that's going to last for for a long time and, and serve them really well. Again, mentioned this earlier with the the end user keyways, but even if it's a keyway for you and your customers, every time that Medico generates a, a master key system, you are the owner of that system. We do not we do not keep that hostage or, or charge anything for that. So just rest assured, whenever you get a master key system from the factory, it, it's yours and or the customers. So just kind of recap on Medico X4, you know, we got the patent through 2030. Uh, you can you can retrofit any opening or manufacturer's hardware with the with the variety of cylinders that we've got here and over 65,000 available key combinations. So we, we definitely invite you guys to challenge us on that. We, we love working on those larger projects and we've we've got a lot of years of experience uh, both in the field and at the factory uh, in, in designing those large key systems. So definitely lean on us to, to do that for you. And the available key control programs, uh, the dealer keyways, those end user keyways. X4 Chrome, which is a distributor-based keyway uh, that HL Flake carries. And then X4 Bolt, I didn't really mention yet, but uh, just a second on that, it's a commercial keyway for Medico X4. So there's no contracts, no letters of authorization, no agreements, anything like that needed to order that X4 keyway. So somebody doesn't want to go through all the hoops of end user keyways or, or dealer keyways, there is a commercial keyway available with Medico X4. It's called Bolt. Now we've got one slide here, and I'm not spending a ton of time on this. I'll tell you why. It's uh, Medico M3. So this is our current high security patented uh, UL437 key system, which of course is the uh, pick resistance, bump resistance, and drill resistance features that we build into the cylinders. And this has been around, you know, for for quite a while now. The reason I'm not spending too much time on the Medico M3 today is, as you'll see, that uh, utility patent does expire next year in 2021. So unfortunately, this is kind of a kind of a teaser. We we've got a new uh, high security uh, key system that we're getting ready to launch probably around Q3 of this year. You're going to start seeing it. I'm just not allowed to to disclose any details at this time. But Medico M3 is still active. We still sell a ton of it. It's a it's a very high quality product in the high security uh, channel whenever that's needed. And we do have those dealer keyways, the carded programs, end user as well as factory restricted product that that we can deliver in the Medico M3. So. Definitely still utilize this whenever you need that high security, uh, those features, but be on the lookout uh, for, for the new one coming uh, here in a few months. Lastly, on the, on the mechanical side, I wanted to, to mention Medico B. If you haven't heard of this, it's uh, the unpatented small format systems that are out there. We, we give you a product from Medico that uh, is, again, made here in the US, high quality, uh, that can fit into those alphabet keyway systems. We just want to cover the whole spectrum, you know, from an unpatented core, because there's still a ton of that out there. We know that uh, if you can't upgrade them, uh, then you can buy a Medico product that'll fit into that. And another thing that kind of goes by the wayside that people don't understand that we do is, is the housings as well for the, for the small format. You know, we like to think we're pretty competitive on them and, and definitely it's a high quality, high quality housing that, uh, that you can use. So definitely give us an opportunity on that. We'd appreciate it. Now we're gonna talk about those support management tools that I was uh, mentioning earlier. First and foremost, the key management software. Uh, we offer Key Wizard from, from Medico. However, we just wanna have the conversation with these guys on all these things. Uh, it's, we wanna be uh, a consultant with these end users through you and we wanna, we wanna be bringing them a solution, not just a new key system. So we know there's gonna be challenges uh, in the future. And so the best thing you can do is just plan for that. So make sure they have a key management software. Key cabinets, you know, Medico has the Medico T21. It's a great way to, to keep track of those high priority keys, signing them in and out and things like that. We've also got uh, other, other boxes like the Medico XT SPC that gets into the intelligent key side of the business for them to manage those, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then professional services. This is something that, you know, two or three years ago, we weren't even talking about professional services at Medico, but uh, last year, this this was a over a million dollar business for Medico, so it grew rapidly. And it's just us offering services, and you know, again, those years of experience that uh, the employees at Medico have, and just delivering that to the field to to make the end user's life a little bit easier. So, whenever you think about why you would want to use these professional services, you know, there's 
obviously the the support and uh, setting up of systems, whether it's uh, mechanical or intelligent key, but that tech support. So uh, we have an amazing tech support team at the factory. And if you have a customer that, you know, mainly on the intelligent key side here, but if they want to be able to call somebody 24 seven and, and somebody pick up the phone, we, we've got that option in our catalog. So um, it's all about what they want, what their needs are. We, we can, we can tailor it to, to each customer and what, what their needs are. And of course, training and certification. We, we host certification classes at the factory or we were going to be doing that earlier this year before all this happened, but uh, we do that usually a few times a year, but we'll also come to you in the field to, to perform those. All right, switching gears now. I'm not going to read through all of these, but just start looking at these and start kind of switching your brain to think about, you know, what would be nice to have that a mechanical key system simply can't deliver to you. So, you know, the future, the roadmap of key systems, and I call it the future, but it's really, we're, we're here already. It's becoming a, it's becoming a large part of our business. And, you know, you just, you got to think about, you know, what do you want your keys to do that they currently can, you know, when if they could expire, when they don't need to be used to prevent more liability. Uh, if you can uh, have an audit trail of where that key's been, or you can schedule it to work certain times. These are things that would obviously be awesome and, and, and things that we can now deliver. So taking a look at this, this chart, up here is the inception of a new mechanical key system. So we're talking about the, the degraded security over time of any mechanical key system. Even if it is Medeco X4, you know, it's a high quality key system. This is where we start. And even with that, you're one lost key or one stolen key uh, away from, from being down here. So uh, as you can see, that can happen at any point in time from the time it starts. And then to get back up, you have to spend dollars. You have to rekey uh, if as long as they're managing it like they should. So again, you see this over and over and over. It, it can keep happening. And what what happens is they they're living in this this high area of, of liability because even all this money being spent to rekey, it, they're only one lost key away. So we we talk to end users about this and we show it. We get their we get their brain thinking and they count up and tell us. You know they spent in the life of their mechanical key system millions of dollars just on rekeys just to get them back to the point where they could lose a key tomorrow and they're, they're back in the same spot. So just start thinking about that. And then along with that, there's always a threat of new technologies out there. So you've seen these kiosks probably start popping up. Uh, over here, we've got a 3D printer. That's a very real threat to uh, standard mechanical key systems for people to get keys without you knowing about it or the end user knowing about it. But this one's unique right here. Uh, if you haven't seen this, it's the same company that puts this out. Uh, if somebody in a facility sees their their boss or their manager's key ring sitting there and they've got a master key on it, all they have to do is just have that key long enough to take a picture of the front and the back of it, submit it through this app, and within a few days they'll have it. So uh, that's one that usually gets people's attention whenever whenever you show that to them and you're and you're talking to them. So how do we how do we want to help you? So this is where this is where the intelligent keys really fit into the business. And if you've ever seen an Asa Abley presentation, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this continuum, but you know, it serves a really great purpose. So just to remove that for a second, down here we've got the mechanical credentials. You know, it's a, that's a patented key system, which is great. However, if you talk to these end users, if they had unlimited budgets and, and ways to do it, I'm sure they would tell you they would want to have this at every opening, hardwired, you know, highly intelligent openings. But due to cost restrictions and beyond the money, you think about uh, these places like remote utility districts and places that you know, have perimeter fencing and airports and things like that. It's just not feasible to to run wire to these places. So we really fall right in the middle here because we don't we don't want to disrupt the openings that can do this. That, that's great. That's a great solution. And also I believe provides that. Um, but this is where we see this fitting. It complements these because if you think about openings that you know they are hardwired and they do have access control on them. If there's a key override, you know, that's a good conversation starter because. If somebody bypasses those openings with a mechanical key, you have no record of who went through the who, who went through the door. So uh, you can install an intelligent key or an intelligent uh, cylinder into that opening, and then you're you're fully covered on the access control side. So again, we've got two different flavors or two different technologies. You know, you get the Medico XT and the Medico Quick, which I'm now going to jump in and, and just highlight a few quick differences between those. Starting first with the Medico X4 Click, you see X4 there because obviously with this technology, we do still have the patented Keyblade as a part of that. 
So just added security to the system. But really, because this is intelligent keys, this is where the, the meat of it is. So we add the electronics to the to the head of the key with the replaceable battery. And then the cylinders and the keys, they, they communicate their, where this little pointer is. There's a, uh, a contact that interacts with this contact right there on the, on the face of the cylinder. So the replaceable battery in the head of these keys will give you 20,000 cycles per battery. So two years and beyond on that. So we really see this as a great solution uh, combining the two technologies. And when you think about the cylinders, you know, we can do padlocks, we can do virtually everything you can do mechanically with this in X4 click. The only restriction we have on, on click with this technology is the small format interchangeable core, which is what we're going to get into with the next technology. But virtually everything else, padlocks, things like that, you can you can put on the system and there's no power, there's no batteries needed at the at the cylinders or the padlocks. I kind of hang I, I kind of call these uh, just kind of dumb sitting out in the field. They're waiting for this key with all the, the power and the uh, information to tell them what to do. And so the way that they're managed is they get updated periodically. They're, they're told to expire after a certain amount of time. And so whenever you think about those utility districts and things like that, we do have a way to update these keys remotely without being docked to a local programmer or a wall-mounted programmer. Uh, we have Bluetooth keys that can link directly to a free phone app and you can, you can hit update and get those updates that way. The next technology is Medico XT. So the first thing you'll see here and notice is uh, no mechanical key. It's electronic only. And the beauty, the beauty of that is it allows us, like I mentioned in Click, it allows us to fit these smaller cylinder formats. So you see the small format here, you see the, the cam lock, those really tight compressed uh, footprints, you can easily fit in Medico XT and beyond. So it's not just the small ones, you can fit it in the mortise cylinders, you can you can fit in the padlocks and everything else. So this includes all the same cylinders that you can do in Click. It adds the small ones. So that's really uh, why whenever we're going into a place, we just like to have an intelligent key conversation and just talk to them about the concept and get their, their minds wrapped around what the intelligent keys can do. And then you really, you look at their current system and you see uh, if there's you know 90% cylindrical small format in that facility, you're probably going to lean towards XT on what you provide them as a solution because you don't have to replace that hardware. So uh, start with just the intelligent key conversation, tell them how it can help, and then use these key differences to, to kind of guide them one direction or the other. And the other big difference in XT is instead of a replaceable battery, it's got a rechargeable battery actually just built into the key, and that gives you roughly 1,800 cycles. So uh, anywhere from a couple months, maybe four or five months, depending on usage. It, you know, you kind of got to monitor it like you do your cell phone at that point, just the more you're using it, you're just going to have to recharge those keys. And again, we do have a Bluetooth option available in these as well to pair directly to a phone to get updates. So going back to that graph we showed at the beginning of this section, you know, highlighted in blue back here in the background, that was the up and down of, of the mechanical key system, which ultimately added up to the, the thousands and millions of dollars on rekeys. You can confidently tell your customer that if they buy an intelligent key system, they are going to live up here forever because keys can be removed electronically. You're not going to have to worry about, you know, physically rekeying locks again. So it's all managed like an access control system, and they've got that that constant high level of security. So that's one key system for the rest of their life. So as we start to to kind of wind down here, this is the resources I was saying we're going to be able to send out to you guys. Um, the next page. I'm going to show you this uh, key system self-evaluation checklist that was created by Dale Bowman at Medico. He's, he's been there, seems like forever since I've known of Medico. He's, he's, he's incredible at what he does and he's, he's come up with something that I think you'll really find useful. But on this page, this is just screenshots of hard copies and PDFs that we can send you to talk to your customers about. So uh, this one, you know, how to choose your next key system, you know, it really goes back to that first conversation we had, the, the first slide on, on what we look for and it kind of walks them through that. Just gives them something physical to have. And then this next one, the key control policy guide. So this goes back to, we, we wanna be a consultant to these guys from, as Medico and, and with you as the, as the locksmith and viewers, uh, we, wanna, we wanna help guide them through uh, what is key control and like how can you make a policy for your uh, institution or your, your facility? So we, we give them some key features and best practices on, on how, they can, how they can come up with their own key control policy and make it unique to them. And then last, how to deploy a key system the right way. You know, it sounds so simple, but you know, a lot of times we have customers that 
it's in the budget. They know they want to do it. They like the key system. But where do we start? You know, where do we start biting off that elephant? Because these larger end users, these larger customers, you know, you're talking about a lot of openings and you got to you got to plan it out, make sure the master key systems built for the future, things like that. So we just kind of put this out there and it's got ways to, to help walk them through that. So this is that uh, key system self evaluation checklist. Uh, this is this is awesome to take into to customers and let them fill this out. Uh, you'll, you'll be really surprised. You might not be surprised at what you find because you know these guys, but um, you'll find, or at least we found, that most of them are going to fall in that, that two to five range. Um, and even if they do that, it's not, not necessarily we're coming in there and saying, hey, you need to complete uh, revamp your key systems into a rekey, come buy Medico X4. It goes back to those tools that we were talking about. Maybe, maybe they just haven't been offered a, a Medico T21 or a, a, a key management software that they can incorporate into their system and something like that can help them gain uh, faster control of, of that system. So it's not necessarily to knock them down and uh, it's just to, to, to help them out and give them some things that can complement that system. And you know, if you get seven or more with that customer, you know, just give them a high five and tell them that they're, they're doing a great job. So hopefully you get more of those than not, but uh, we just want to help get the guys that are down here up to this level. And this can be sent out to you as well to, to use. Again, here's that screenshot of our of our factory in Virginia. You know, from the bottom of our hearts, and I can speak for everybody at the factory. We really appreciate uh, your your business and your your partnership through throughout the the pandemic that we find ourselves in. Uh, we have been able to remain 100% operational, no no slowing down. So, uh, thank you, thank you very much for that. This is the, the promo. Hopefully it's showing up okay on the screen. Um, we're, we want to get some more Medical X4 dealers, obviously. So we're going to give you some incentives depending on the investment that you make uh, through HL Flake. So uh, minimum amount is uh, 1500 there. It gets you uh, two boxes of key blanks. If you invest 3000, we're going to get you two free pin kits to uh, cover both small format and conventional cylinder formats. And then if you're willing to invest uh, 5,000 with us, we're gonna give you a free uh, Medico X4 key machine, the key punch there. So, you know, that, that's, that's, a, that's a great deal in my opinion. And these amounts over here, uh, just to be clear, that's not just a, a check that you write uh, to, to get going with us, uh, that's all product. So you get to build the, uh, the details of that order and, and, and make sure you've got stock or, you know, if it's for a project or something you got in mind, that, that can be anything you want it to be. Again, that's through HL Flake only, you know. I uh, really appreciate HL Fleet working with us and inviting us to be on this call. And that's going to go through uh, the end of May. So we've got, we've got a couple weeks to, to think about that and see if we might be able to, uh, to get you signed up. That is, that is the end of what I've got, Travis. So I'm going okay. to. Okay. There are, um, there are a couple questions that have come in. So I'll, I'll just read these out. And if anybody has any questions, please put them in the Q and a, um, now, I mean, we'll basically have a, a Q&A time. Um, so let's see, um, Glenn is asking, uh, I don't understand how to disable a lost key. He says, uh, the keyway is dumb and the key is smart. Unless it is updated, it will not be connected to the Bluetooth update to remove its authorization. Am I thinking about it right? You're absolutely on the right track, uh, Glenn. So uh, to disable the lost keys, you actually manage that through uh, revalidation intervals. So you strategically place uh, either a wall mounted updater or at the PCs, you can have an updater uh, to update your keys. So if it's a high level key, we have some people that, that have their employees at their facility update their keys you know, every day or every week, uh, depending on, on the, the, the access rights that that key has. So. It's, it's just built into their daily routine. They dock it, it only takes a couple seconds to get that update. And then the Bluetooth uh, is just another way to, to do that. So if you're not at the facility and you've got a Bluetooth key, you just pull up your app and hit update. Within a couple seconds, you, you've got your new set of access rights. And along with that, whenever it's updated, uh, it also downloads the audit trail and all that stuff of where it's been. So it, it behooves the end user to uh, kind of shorten those revalidation intervals to, to a smaller amount of time. Uh, okay, great. Um, so here's a, a question from Kevin. He's asking, uh, what is the process to remove an electronic key? How does the lock know that the key is inactive? Great question. So 
Uh, you can do that through the intervals that I just, uh, that I just discussed. Um, but let's take the worst case scenario here. Uh, this is what everybody's going to want to know. So if you lose a key and it had, you know, maybe another year on it that it's allowed to work and you're worried about somebody picking it up and, and bringing it to your facility, you simply take a, a programming key that's the same keyway, but it doesn't have any cuts on it. So you could give this task to, to really anybody in your facility and you load that lost key onto it. And then you would walk around to the cylinders that you want to lock it out from and you'd actually uh, manually do that at the cylinder. So you put that programming key in for a couple seconds, it beeps. Now, if that key is uh, presented to it, it will be told it, it's not allowed to work. Great. So, I mean, you contrast that to a mechanical key system. Uh, the worst case scenario there is you got to start dumping pins. You got to, you got to manually rekey everything. This is still, this is still better, better than that. Uh, so Glenn had a, Actually, it looks like he has uh, two follow-up questions here. It says, so you limit the amount of time the key is authorized. Kind of going Correct. back back to Glenn's question. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you would give it like a week to work. And then at the end of that week, it's got to be updated again to, to get another week's worth of, worth of access. And it keeps rolling. And he's saying, so the lock itself does have some smarts, Right. Absolutely. I, I probably should have mentioned that as well. It, it does hold information. It's just you don't have to give any power to it. And then, so the, it will hold those lost keys and know that it's not allowed to work. And it will also hold audit information. So if you lose a key or something, or if you have an event, you can also pull audit events off of the lock. Okay. So now, I mean, we haven't had a ton of questions. If anybody would rather ask a question live, you can uh, click the raise hand, uh, which I think is at the bottom of your screen. You know, if you'd rather ask questions that way. <laughs> or you can type it in the Q&A. Um, but sometimes we have over 50 people and sometimes if we open it up with the raised hands, it can be a lot. So not too many thing, today. One thing I did forget to do, uh, Travis, if you want me to share my screen and pop it up again, okay. uh, is the territory maps so they can see who their local contacts are. And uh, we have three of us, the medical specialists throughout the country and it's got their contact information as well. Okay, yeah, if you wanna go ahead and do that. That, is that too small? Can you see that? Uh, it, it's a little hard to read, but it, I mean, that works. So yeah, everybody on the call, I know you're in different parts of the country. Um, over here, you've got the three of us, the Medico specialists and our director of sales, Jim Pelk, who's out of Florida. Um, these are the different, uh, internally at Osaboy, we have DSS territories. And so you, you fall within one of these. And down here at the bottom, uh, it breaks it out and it is a little hard to see, but that's what we use mainly internally. Uh, but you can get your aftermarket rep right here. So we had Cody Dorsett, of course, on the call. Uh, Cody is right here. So you got the DSS Gulf Central. There's Cody and his his number down there. So if you want to, we can leave this up for just a second so you can you can see who your, your person is and we can definitely uh, connect you with them. And Daniel, it um, looks like Simon was asking if we will be emailing the documents that you mentioned today. So if you want to get those to me, I can email them or however you want to handle it. Absolutely. Either way, we can do that for sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So um, we'll get the PDFs that were mentioned and either send them off as links um, or attachments. We'll see how big they are. Okay. Um, another question. This is from Roger Beck. It says... Uh, does the lock keep a record of keys presented? Yes, it does keep that information. So whether they were allowed access, if there was access denied, uh, it does store that information on the lock and you can you can pull off the, the most recent 1000 events and it's a first in first out basis on the locks. Okay. Um, and then Mark Dawson is uh, asking that we describe the click go. Absolutely. Yeah, I didn't put it on the, today's presentation, but it's an extension of the Medico Click product line. So it's a program for you as the locksmith to actually stock uh, some click cylinders and click keys, you know, for those rapid deployments that you want to do. It's a, it's a little bit different software, so it's actually managed on the phone. It's kind of like a you know, click light version is kind of what we think of it internally. But, you know, you can actually have that stock on yourself so you can you can quickly issue uh, click materials to, to your customers and they can manage it their, by, by themselves on their phone. That's mainly for systems of 
like, you know, 15, 20 cylinders or less, you know, the, the larger customers, we, we can't really put onto that just because of the interface. But uh, for those retail type customers that are front and back door that want to use this technology, absolutely. Great. Um, yeah, so for questions, of course, there's the contact info here. Um, you know, if you're interested in the X4 system, you can uh, contact any contact your sales rep at any of the companies, any of our family of companies. Um, you know, if you're up in the Northwest and you primarily deal with H.E. Mitchell company, you can contact your salesperson with H.E. Mitchell. Um, either way, you know, it would be funneled through HL Flake to, to actually get you set up with that system. Yes. So. Absolutely. All right. Any other questions as we kind of start to wind things down? Feel free to either ask them in the Q&A or you can raise your hand and uh, we'll open up your mic. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Okay. So if uh, looks like we're wrapping it up, I'm, I'll go ahead and do the drawing here. Um, this is for, so uh, we're going to do a drawing for the $250 Lowe's gift card. Let's see. All right, you guys see the wheel of names there? Yep. Daniel, you can see that? All right. Yep. All right, everybody, here we go. We'll, we'll do the drawing. All right, it looks like uh, Frank from Aragon Lock and Key Services. So Frank, congratulations. Uh, we will have your email address. I'll reach out to you um, to get in touch with you about where to send that to. So yeah, thank you everybody. Um, thank you, uh, Daniel, uh, for your time today. Um, and again, if anybody has questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, I will follow up with an email um, that has either links or attachments to the, the documents that Daniel was talking about. Yeah, thank you to HL Flake for having me. Thank, thanks for having us. And uh, thank you to all of you for your continued support. And we will be posting uh, any of the free you know, webinars like this that we're doing. We're gonna, going to be posting them um, as long as they're not uh, really there's not restricted information on here we'll post them on youtube for follow-up um and then you know be sure to check out hlflake.com look at the events page for more of more edu education coming up i know we have several events with asa abloy uh one around touchless openings i think we have another one about around um power power supply for uh access control so uh quite a few you know while during this time, while things are not really at 100%, we're going to continue to have four to five webinars a week. So, all right. Well, thank you, everybody, uh, and take care. Bye. Thank you, guys.